Ignoring. You've got some competition, yeah. bud. Yeah, but I'm using host and fellowship points. Yeah? And I'm going to max out my host. So. Uh -huh. Oh, but you've got to so, keep in mind the the we're not using the fellowship pool yet. Oh, okay. So you've well, got your I'm hope. I'm plenty of hope. So. Okay. Um, so I'll spend a hope. So That's my recommendation is roll first, and then if you need to, you can throw a hope in there if you want to use hope. Two moonstones. Wow. You're going to have to beat two moonstones, though. Okay. So let's see. Noreen. Well, All right. I to use hope to okay. And you want to go ahead and use hope on that? Now, if I understand it correctly, you have to hold down the Alt key and then click the hope symbol on your on your well, on the on the die roller. Hmm? Uh, well, it, it, it clicked it earlier, but all right. Oh, you wait a minute! You've already done it. Oh, oh, no, no, no I didn't. No. Okay. Um, I'm trying to watch all these dice rolls, and these cards are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful, but. Um, does it give you the opportunity to roll hope? Yeah, it does. There's a, there's a hope section where you can select a hope bonus. Uh -huh. Hope point, bonus die, inspired, support from a companion. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't click any of those, so. Okay. But, but I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they're supposed to be like a little hand with some sparkles on it towards the upper right of the card in the chat window. Um, I don't know if it replaces the garbage can in there or not, but it's suppo you're supposed to be able to hold down the alt key and click that to expend a hope. Uh, yeah, there's no... There's nothing in this chat. Okay, then in that case, you're not allowed to spend hope on that because no, you've, you've succeeded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in the... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess it's only if you do a failure, you can try and spend hope on that. Um, yeah, if fine. Yeah. Okay, so... But that was... Your, your first one was a success. Um, yeah. It's only worth the one point, though... Uh, okay, so go ahead and roll your second one. Uh, this one I'm going to spend the, the home point bonus die. Okay. Okay, I can't read your dice either. That's really weird. Okay, wow. A 24. Holy smokes. Um, But there's no Gandalf's rune and there's no... Um, yeah. yeah. It yeah. is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. I can't, okay, give me I your third roll. I, I can't make it hit me. To, I know, know. and that sucks. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. That's a success. Uh, yeah, three, 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 three. Wow. Eight all three times. Okay. Two points home. Yeah. And, and, and oh, there's some tracking them, so that's cool. Okay, yeah, that tracks them automatically. I like that. Okay, so the first thing that you find, uh, if you guys want to jump in and help me make these up, that's fine. Of course, I'm going to win this even though I wanted to. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Farmer's implements. Uh, Perhaps an old rag doll? Okay. A cord cob doll. There you go. The first thing you find is an old corn cob doll. Uh, mm -hmm. I like that. The second thing you find, and don't don't mind, you know, if if you've got something you want to suggest, Ross, suggest it. You're part of this too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's see. The second thing that you I'm find. Say I never had a chance to say it. So. Oh, I'm sorry, Ross. I I forgive me. I'm so sorry. What did you have to say? Oh, okay. All right. Yep. What was your idea? No, 
It, it was it was earlier. It had nothing to do with this now. So Ross, I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, I mean I've been I've been sitting on mute like most of the game. So uh, just uh, send me send me something. You know, either in yeah. Discord or in. Did I see anything for you? No. Uh, no. Okay. I didn't want to interrupt anybody, so I was waiting for a turn. And okay. Get one. So, you know, it was weird. But, uh, so, so, are these going to be significant in any way? Should I write them down? Or oh, no, 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 no. You, no, you don't have to write them down. They're just not. things you find. You oh, know? Okay, well then. So. The corn cobber rag doll was the first one. I'm just trying to throw these in for a little bit of uh, splash, if you will. Okay. Uh, see this. Uh, Go ahead. A, how about a spurtle, which is a type of wooden spoon? Well, okay. Okay. It, it's it's uh, probably. Like, like a, or something, but, a, know, a what? You know, like a jam or a. Or a, maybe not a moon. Not a snow on the moon on it, but maybe like. Piece of corn or something. I am a tour after all. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, shiny things. Okay. Uh, sure. That sounds good. Or, or maybe uh maybe an old you know like a gold button or something from someone's. One of uh, Walford's buttons, you know. maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, Walford lost a button on the way into town, and you just found it. <laughs> uh, it's it's unfortunate that uh, that Andrew is not going to be here reportedly for this weekend and next. So, but hold on to that button because if Andrew, for whatever reason, is able to come back next week, you can mess with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, uh, type something up if you can, or or some other way to get my attention. We've got we've got a whole group of live ones here. So, mm -hmm. okay, so Avagisa, uh, she is the last one that I'm going to roll for, and she she doesn't have anything special. She's keen-eyed. Uh, let's see, the keenness of your sight surpasses that of most folk. But I'm not going to add anything for that. No reason to, and she doesn't have anything in description. Okay, so her first roll um, is going to be best of two. The target number is is a 15. Uh, so, okay, no bonuses or penalties. Ooh, Avagis is not happy because she, well, she did roll one Tangwar Room, but it was still a failure. So, nothing for her on that. Uh, the second one, and roll. Okay, that one was a success. Ooh, but she got a Sauron's Eye. She she got the success, but it's only worth one point. She finds, let's see, what can she find? Hmm. Uh, a copper nail. A, co a copper nail. That works. Okay. And then uh, let me roll the third one for her. Advanced. Ooh, and that one is also a failure. So she is not very happy. Of course, she's young, um, but she is also a Bay Orning, so she does not come out of the field crying. She comes out pissed. Okay. And Radigand is crowned the winner. Because she was, <laughs> because Thank she was, job. yeah, because she was able to find uh, two moonstones when no one else found them. Okay, so I will I will have to go over this a little bit later. Now let me grab the next trial. I just saved that one, so let me grab this. Why is that listed as strong? That should not be listed as strong. This is going to take me a minute because I need to edit this, which is really strange. Why is it doing that? But it didn't do it that way. Wow. Okay. So, um, that one is counted uh, for all of you like 
Um, uh, it was actually kind of a difficult trial. There, it, we're we're taking some time to um, comfort kids uh, who did not win anything um, and aren't yet strong enough as Bayornings to to just ignore it. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, this one is another prolonged test. Okay. Wow, it, it looks like it didn't add anything to this, but let me guess, I'm going to have to save it, and then it'll add to it. And save. Wow, that's not wanting to reload very quickly. Come on, let me save this and then I'll open it up again. I'm actually bringing the trials in one at a time. Okay. Wow, why is that not... That's super weird. Oh. <laughs> it's BR, <laughs> not HR. Oh, I, you're, I, they have breaking spaces in here, but they're really strange to put in. Uh, and the breaking spaces are uh, open bracket BR space uh, forward slash close bracket. Well, HR is a horizontal line that's supposed to be in there. And it's supposed to be, yeah, those are supposed to be HR. I put in the breaking space instead of the, the, uh, oh, get rid of those. I put in the horizontal or the breaking space instead of the horizontal line that I'm supposed to use. So I'm having to code this as we're going along. Um, A, C, and, and let's see what it does for me. Come on. Okay, it did the right thing this time, but for some reason it's setting the code really weird. Let me save this and then go back into it. See, that saved the right thing. Okay. So the next thing you've got is the ancient game. Okay, and, and some of you are going to be pretty interested in this one, I think. For the ancient game, it is a riddle test uh, with a standard target number, but this one is, is like uh, the first few, minus two, zero, and plus two. It's a prolonged test with three rolls. No fair or festival would be complete without a chance to play the old and venerated riddle game. The game is played on the center stage, and a presenter asks the riddles out loud, but the answers to each must be whispered. This allows the crowd to play along. Okay? Because they can kind of shout things out and, and everything like that. Um, oh, good. It did what it was supposed to do. Who among you... Are willing to take wait, wait, on. Uh, hmm? Question: Are they the same riddles for everybody? They are the I same see. riddles, um, uh, and that's why they're whispered. Okay, or why the hmm. answer is why the an the the riddle is spoken out loud. And I, then I understand, but uh, I have the distinctive feature of quick of hearing, meaning no sound escapes your attention. Yeah. So, okay, let me put it to you this way, and this is a perfect time to bring this in. If you were to participate in the riddle game, and you listen to the answers as they are whispered, you would be cheating. In this game, cheating is frowned upon, and you would earn... I'm going to say one shadow point um, per die roll that you make. So you can okay. earn up to three yeah. shadow points. You don't want any shadow. Yeah, I don't want to earn no, shadow. <laughs> it, it's very hard. It's very difficult, Luthwin, for elves to shed even temporary shadow. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to stay out of this one. Okay. Like, I'll be hearing it. So I was like, ah, oh, it's not fair. Yeah. So I stay it, out. 
it wouldn't be fair and and i'm sorry folks i haven't written up a whole bunch of riddles i would have to write up like 20 different riddles and i'm i'm not going <laughs> to i i'm i'm not good at riddles myself so if i ever come up with a riddle and i actually give that to you you're going to be expected to solve it uh by yourself if you can or collectively with your characters rolling if you cannot okay so let's see uh actually yeah uh ross rhymes of lore may help you but again here's what i'm going to do it's going to be a prolonged test but it's one test so for even though it's multiple riddles that you may be asked so i would give you a bonus on your first dice roll of a riddle and then after that if you make a, a decent success a, a, a success with it i would give you a skill point for riddle fair enough But what if we have a riddle to suggest to you? If if you have a riddle to suggest to me? Yes. Um Ooh. But how many of you would have riddles? Is it a skill? Riddle yeah, is I a skill in the game, yes. I have, I have I'm favoring two rights. Now if I'll... What's that, Remy? No, you're you're good. Okay. I'm myself. <laughs> um. Uh, the two has it. The Hobbit has riddle. Well, yes, yes, he has riddle, but uh, I don't know if a Andrew's not going to be here, so he's not going to be able to to help make any riddles. What Catherine, if I'm understanding correctly, is suggesting is she's got a riddle that could actually be used in the game. Is that correct? Yes, I have a at least one riddle to suggest. Okay. Um, oh, Duota also has the riddle skill. Yep, and and that's fine. All of this is to the good. Okay, uh, but uh, I'm not going to answer any riddles. I'm just going to use my skill. You're just going to okay. use your skill. Okay. Okay. So okay. So <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible with riddles. Isn't it funny that most GMs are really bad with riddles? I mean, I, I played some games where we had to solve some. Uh -huh. I I only contributed to solving it. I didn't help. I I didn't like actually usually give the answer. Yeah, <laughs> I've got you. Other people did. Okay. Um, other puzzles is another matter. But uh, yeah, I I can make up puzzles, but they're they're really hard for me. So, Catherine, um. Are you yes. intending to participate in the riddle game? Uh, not as my character, no. Okay, not as your character. So, I'm going to bring you down to the sidebar, and I'm going to join you there, and you can tell me about, uh, ab about your riddle and the answer to it. And what I'll do is I'll have you actually give the riddle... And then anyone who wants to attempt to answer it on their own can go down to the sidebar with me and and we'll figure that out how does that sound folks is that okay mm -hmm. sounds good to me sir okay okay ginger are you okay with that sure okay now ross you've already said that you're going to use your skill and that's fine if you guys just want to use your skill you can do that too okay i'm going to drag you down to the sidebar Oh, wait a minute. But my character's not doing the riddles. <laughs> okay. So. All right. What's the riddle? All right. So, what occurs one time in a minute, twice in a moment, but not even a single time in a thousand years? Uh, and the answer is. Oops. Yeah, I've heard this one. But go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I, I've heard this M. one. Oh, yeah. But never the in a million M. years. <laughs> okay. Um, 
That's a good one. I like that one. Uh, and, and I think these guys, whomever is going to try and figure it out, will have a hard time. Okay, now, you should be able to click back on the Tor 2E channel to get back up there. If you would like to try that, if you can't, I can move you. Okay. All right, give it a shot. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, okay, so that's saved. Let me... Uh oh Okay, so I need to save this entry. Okay, good, good, good. So have I... I've already read this to you. Um, Turing the Tinker um, is actually kind of an outsider, uh, but is... Uh, is kind of favored for being able to win this particular game. He's come through before. Um, he is not particularly celebrated in the town, nor is he truly um, considered a bad guy. Okay. So, uh, whom else would like to participate in this? You have me down, right? I will have you down in just a moment. Noreen, and let me make sure that I change that. Alt 0243. Okay. And you have Riddle what? Yeah, I have it favored. Okay. And two ranks. And two ranks. Okay. Um, who else? Nobody wants to try this out? I suck at riddles, and my character doesn't have the skill. Okay. Just consider Radigan the Silent on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Um, and uh, <gasps> I, I, again, I already stated that I'm not going to participate. Because you're going I'm to refrain. The answer. Okay. Uh, Yuld? Yuld may be bold in his abilities, but he knows that he's better with fights and hunting and that kind of stuff, not with riddles. Okay. Uh, he knows his limits. Okay. And Radigand is out. So, I can go to the end of here and get rid of all of these others. It's just, uh, Now, of course, there are some others who are going to try their hand at it, um, uh, such as uh, Ethel the Unkind and, uh, and, and things like that. But we're, we're not exactly going to work it that way. Now, Ross, you've already said that um, you're no good at riddles, so you're just going to roll, and that's fine. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm no good at riddles either. But um, once we're done with this contest, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Catherine give out her riddle, uh, and then you guys can can attempt to solve it. Just a little side thing; it's nothing important in the game or anything like that. But you can try. It's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Noreen, go ahead and give me your first roll. All right, and I can use. Oh, it's a, it's a penalty of two. And, right. But you're using rhymes of lore, so you can add one. So your penalty is only minus one. Hmm. Am I going to get that for all three rolls? No, 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 no. Your your next one is going to be at zero, and then your next one, your final one at plus two. Bear in mind. If oh, okay. you if you do a success with the last two rolls, you'll get skill points towards those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's harsh. Well, yeah. that's of minus one. Yeah. Okay, so you don't quite win that round straight out. Um, go ahead with your second roll. Okay, that's a success. Um, let's see. That's that's a nice one. That's uh, that's that's fifteen. Um, but it is just a success. 
So that's yep. one. Okay. Uh, go and ahead and do your third roll. This one is plus two. Yep. Nineteen. Very nice. Okay, it's it's still a basic roll. It's a it's a success. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not rolling any ten runes or anything. Right. Oh well. Okay. It, it sucks, but it's winning. Right. Okay, so no, I don't like me. <laughs> but you get two skill points for riddle. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? So my riddle is four now? No no no, just two skill points. Um on your sheet. Uh, let me pop open Bjarner here. It's down a little bit further. Uh, oh, I guess okay. you can't, yeah, I guess you can't do anything right. specific for, for that. Uh, oh, I, I see two skill points. Okay. Yeah, so. I can put it in there, a value. Yes, you can put uh, a value in both the large and small diamonds. Now, yeah. the small diamond is for your game life total. So that one yeah, never yeah. reduces, it only increases, but your skill points in the large diamond tell you how much you can spend on the skill later. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mm -hmm. have yet to give you guys any any fellowship or skill points for, for last game. I'm going to take care of that tonight uh, so mm -hmm. that you can kind of get an idea of how things work. Okay, so it is Turing's turn, and let me get uh, let me get him out here. Well, he rules worse than me. Uh, you never know. He's only got riddle of three, and it's not favored. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what happened there. I changed the the folklore thing. Okay, so riddle. Uh, oh, he's got rhymes of lore as well. So he's only minus one. Um. Okay, minus one. Uh. He's also got cunning. I don't think cunning is going to help. Your wit is sharp and you are ready to use it to your advantage. Hmm. I am not going to have cunning help on this first one. Eh, I'm not going to make it unfair. Okay. He gets the, the minus one instead of the minus two for the first roll. Uh, which turns out to be a failure. So he's in the same same boat. That Noreen is. Uh, and then this one is at zero. Roll. Extraordinary okay, success. No. Ooh. Not only did he get a success, but he got three Tanguar runes. That's worth four points. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, well. My loss. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he does go to give. He, he, he does go to give the final riddle. And that's at plus two. Okay. Okay. All right. And that one is also a great success. But he's only got one. So he gets two points out of that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Turin, who was uh, favored to win anyway, wins on that one. Um, okay. Um, Catherine, would you like to go ahead and, uh, and give your riddle? All right. What happens once every minute, twice every moment, but never in a thousand years? Anyone? Any guesses? Bueller? Bueller? Is it the letter E? Nope. Right. You're close, though. Aha, it's a letter. So which one? <laughs> okay. Grab Would this you one. like me to repeat it? Yes, please. Yes. Please. All right. What happens once every minute, twice every moment, but never in a thousand years. Ooh, is it the letter M? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you said you weren't good at riddles. What are you talking about? Okay, let me 
I got lucky, right? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, come on. Come on. All right, let me let me get the next one added it in. Uh, mm-hmm. you you kind of go for lunch, and are <laughs> what's that? Oh, I'm just laughing at going for lunch. <laughs> Nori is gonna um eat and have a few drinks since he's feeling like he came here for nothing. Oh well. Let me get this edited in. <clears throat> okay, that should stand as it is. Let's see how that goes. And let's look at it. Okay, good. That's in there. Let me save that. Good. Um. Oh, I know why it did that. <laughs> Yep, that's why I did that. Okay. It it put in a little bit of extra code on me, but that's okay. Turing the Tinker comes over to you and he says, You are a worthy opponent, and I am grateful to see you out here because for the last two years nobody's been able to challenge me. And he tries to, to be that way. Okay, mm-hmm. let me let me save this before I go and look on the. Oh, it's been a been a challenging uh, set of uh, trials. I'm sure. It has so far, but we're not done. Well, I'm not. I don't have any skill on the last one, so no point even trying. Well, we've actually got yeah. two more. Okay, so um, let's see. This is actually turning out kind of perfect. So if I need to, I can drop that last trial, though. Okay, the next one is Mean Shurak. Now, um, those of you who have already been introduced to the bowl, you know it. If not, uh, you uh, are introduced now because when his name is called, he starts rattling his horns uh, between the cage walls, which are large stumps that have been um, bonded together uh, specifically for him. He cannot break out of them, but he can sure make a lot of noise with those horns. Near to the festival fields, a corral has been built. Two pens are at opposite ends of that corral. One is just large enough for a person to fit in, and the other is for Shurak the Bull, also known as Mean Shurak. If anyone desires to challenge Shurak's dominance, they can work to intimidate the bull back to his pen. For those incapable of beating his demeanor, may need to run for the smaller pen. Now, I would like to try. Who was the most entertaining? Yes. Okay, so Luthwin. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I can delete that because you're not a bull. You're an elf. Okay, what is your awe skill? <laughs> well, I was thinking of uh, trying to you, you talk to him to ask him to just go back into the pen. Um, The idea uh, that is spoken and what people are looking for is to find out who is the most entertaining at attempting to either keep alive or get Shurak back to his pen, if you use the speakers on him, you're not speaking aloud. Or if you are speaking aloud, you're speaking in Grey Elvish. And none oh, of the Bayornings understand that. Okay, if they're looking for entertainment, then no, I won't. You won't? No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, who whom else would like to try this? I'll give it a shot. You'll give it a shot? Okay. Um Yeah, let me turn this back around. Okay. I mean being from Mountain Hall, you're going to you're 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 pretty stout and everything like that. What is your awe? My awe is one, but it is favored. 
One, but favored, okay? Favored? Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whom else would like to try? May I? Just for the sake of it? If, if you would like to, I don't see why not. Oh, yeah, I did turn that on. Okay, so, Duota. Duota the less drunk by now. Uh. <laughs> What you is, the finally sober. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about completely <laughs> sober, but still uh, <laughs> liquid couraged enough to get in the pen with a massive bull that you have seen every day of your life, um, who has probably gored one or two people because they annoyed it. Um, that's why it's called Mean Shrek. So, Duota, what is your awe skill? It is at three, but it is not favored. It is at three, but not favored. That's pretty nice. Okay, last call for alcohol. Whom else would like to try? Pick someone to carry you home, eh? <laughs> Noreen, you don't want to try at all? Uh-oh. Ross? Remember... Did... Remember, Radigund is uh -huh. Radigund is silent. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna try it at all. Yeah. Okay. I have no skill. It, it'll just be a feet die, and that won't him. You know, let me win anything. All of a I okay. have to roll ten or more every time. <laughs> that, yeah. That is not looking good for me with a dice roll and night. So. Well. All right. Okay. There's there's one final trial after this one, and this one will yeah, probably be I'm short. Just, yeah, he's just uh, eating drink. Okay. All right, Duota, you are first up. So go ahead and roll your awe skill. Uh oh. Uh, all of these are a bonus of two. So you're going to do three tests. All three are at a bonus of two. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Rolling my first one with plus two. Okay. And this time, I get to write down what you get. Extraordinary success. So you Holy got... Crap. uh Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's 25 um, plus 2T. Okay. For the first one. Go ahead with your next one. All right. One sec. I have to manually enter the bonus every time. Mm -hmm. Frizzer, frizzer. I know, that can be kind of a pain in the butt. 29! Uh, 29 Ooh, again with two. Right. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 29. Plus two Tangwar runes. You might actually win this. Okay, and give me your third one. All right. Another 29. Goodness. Oh. But, yeah. <laughs> Gazoom tight. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Plus one Tangwar rune. Nothing okay. You sneeze at. Now, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. Let's see. I know it's a six. Okay. I think I know how I'm going to do this. So, hang on. Let me total her points up real quick. So, two, seven, eight. Okay. That works. Okay. Yuled, your first one. And it's at a plus two. All three of these are. All right. Okay, so that's a great success. Uh, 21 with one. So 21 plus one Tangwar rune. Oh, not equals, plus, please. And okay, give me your second one. All right. That was at a plus two, right? Oh, 
it might have been. It might not have been. I forget. Hold on. Okay, well, you got a basic success on that. Go ahead, go ahead and re-roll that. Don't, just don't forget the plus two. Yeah, I forgot to add this last time. That's my bad. Here we go. Okay. Sarah, did you need something? I haven't seen them. I have not seen those glasses. Ooh. Okay, so you got a Tangwar rune. Um, and a total, well... It's an automatic success. You only get two points for that. So, yeah. um, one capital TR. Okay. And that will probably only count as two points again. Uh, okay, and give me your third roll. That was a nice roll. Hello, Mr. Maverick. Those are my knees. You got another Tanguar rune, but again... Uh, it was a uh, an automatic success because of the Tangwar rune. Okay, yeah. so let me total up those points. Um, let's see, so that's one, two, four, six. Okay, you got six out of that. Okay, now it's Shurak's turn. Um, and you, I, the reason I wrote down your die rolls and Tangwar runes and uh. And uh, uh, Gandalf's runes is because they're comparative. So let's see, Mean Shirak, there we go. Double to open that up. Okay. So I've got to make actually, I've got to make three rolls on this and I will compare each of yours. Uh, he's got an awe of four, but it's not favored. So get that over there. So awe. He does not get the bonus of plus two. So let's see. Hello, Maverick. 22 is all he gets off of that one. Second roll. Uh, so that counts as one point because it's a success. Uh, an extraordinary success. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, two Tangwar runes. Uh, two Tangwar runes and a success. Well, 30... Um, plus two, uh, t lowercase t, and that way I can convert those, and then, okay, his third one was a success also. You guys might not get ahead on this one. Okay, so that's just a 23. He had no additional successes. So that's one, two. You've been, uh, I see it written here as Shrek, but I've been calling him Shrek in my mind this entire <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one, two, and then two, and then two. So that's six. Let me make sure of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've got the points correct. Okay, so let me save this. So here's how it comes out. Um, Let's see. You old... You are not able to uh, to intimidate him to go back into his cage uh, at all. Okay. I'm surprised. But you got six points out of it. Duota, you did a fantastic job. You had uh, two Tangwar runes, uh, which is an extraordinary success, on your first two rolls, and then an outstanding success on your third roll. Uh, let's see, that's 25, yes, um, no, and then yes. So you were able to get Shurak to back up into, into the cage. And the, uh, the means, that, describe to me, if you can, the means that you would use to back up a bull Shurak's size. All right, I kind of widen my stance, square my shoulders, slam my axe into the ground and just, you know, brute do a primal scream at the bull's direction. Okay. The Is, crowd likes that. The crowd <laughs> really <laughs> likes that, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's fine in here, yeah. Um, so let, uh, Duota, you win that round. And, okay, let's see. 
Okay, so I need next. Okay, that's saved. Uh, Duota, you are hailed in the village. Um, uh, you've never had practice to be able to do this. Um, you've seen animal wranglers do similar things, but not to the point of of uh, you know doing what you just did, basically. Okay. So GM notes. Woohoo! Let me grab. Come on, source code. <laughs> Being called Dorota the Mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. If I close that, does it take it off of DM notes? Yes, it does. So let me add this final trial. So um, let's see. Oh, I need to. Maverick, would you stop licking my elbow? You keep me from typing. <laughs> Okay. Your dog is weird. My dog is weird, but he loves me, so it's okay. And he needs the salt. So mm. let's see. Okay, and that looks like it's all correct. All right, now. Maverick, stop. <laughs> Let me make sure that that is in good shape. Everything is in good shape. Okay, so we're going to have our final our final setup here. And what I need to do is get rid of Shrek and get out old Theo instead. Okay. Come on, old Theo, get out there. Alright, so to be able to close the ceremony. Uh, and it is coming to l mid to late afternoon. Um, and, and the marshal gets up and he says, no festival would be complete without song. And he kind of goes to, to explain some things about it while, the, while I'm reading you the, uh, the information that uh, will actually help you kind of play through this. As the late afternoon sets on the second day of the festival, the best singers and musicians take to the stage and perform the original, or at least improved, according to the composers, versions of familiar songs and tune, uh, uh, poetry. It is traditional that each performance feature the moon in some fashion. Old Theo gets up there, and yes, he is old. He's been playing almost constantly for the last two days all kinds of different songs that have that have um, the moon as a, a part of those songs. <clears throat> and it's to help you guys get ideas. He actually wanted to help you because he wants competition. So I'm not going to ask you guys to write poetry. I'm not going to ask you to sing a song about the moon. We're just going to, to kind of do the dice rolls and, and have some fun with that. Um, old Theo has been playing over both days here and is considered to be the most likely winner of this competition, even if... Uh, oh, yeah, I've got to edit that. <laughs> um, even if he's been helping you guys. So you can guess that he is probably has probably been keeping some songs to himself okay so does anyone want to try and participate in this how strong is your song skill i would i would I sing the chorus been... read again the silent remember you... but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is um, that uh, suddenly the refrain, when the moon in the skies like a, a big, big pizza, pizza pie, pie, that's, that's some more. more. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great song. Um, okay, so Luthwin, what is your song skill? Two unfavored. Two unfavored, okay. Uh, anyone else want to get into this? I guess I'll go to shot. It's one unfavored. Okay, one unfavored. So, Yult. One unfavored. Okay. Um, do any of you, uh, anybody else, want to do this? No one has just two not favored. Okay. Um, Maverick, stop licking me already. 
I love my dog. I do. I love my dog. Uh, all, zero, two, four, three. Get down, you silly mutt. Um, you said two unfavored for Norin? No, two. Uh, yeah, I'm not favored. Okay, so two. Not, not ill favored, but. No. Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing that's ill-favored yet. Get, stop biting that. Maverick, I love you. No, no barking. Stop that. Uh, okay, so that's it. Okay, so. I've already won one, and again, Radigan the Silent. Yeah. I just need, I'll need to be able to compare points and stuff, and I know how I'm going to do that now. Um, so. So, and Radigan the Silent, that makes sense. Um, so, look on your character sheets, look on your distinctive features uh, to see if anything will help you. Um, Fair Spoken can help. Uh, rhymes of Lore can help. Um, I have Rhymes of Lore. There you go, so that can help. Uh, and we'll go yeah, with the same mm -hmm. rules that we've been using. Um, uh, okay, so that's Luthwin and Norin get a, a bonus of one each. Uh, and don't forget, you guys can use your hope on these if you need to. Uh, so let's see, what else would work? Storytelling. If you have storytelling, uh, or you have some kind of a, if you have minstrelsy, um... You can do something. You can borrow instruments. There's all kinds of instruments in town, and you can borrow those uh, with no bonus or penalty. Um, but if you've got your own instrument, I would be willing to give you a bonus of one. So, since this could become confusing, let me go one at a time. Uh, old Theo has his own instrument. Uh, see, own instrument... Maverick, would you stop, please? For heaven's sake. Um, and he's got... Uh, fair Spoken. And Rhymes of Lore. Okay. Um, Luthwin, do you have anything that you can use? Uh, rhymes of Lore. Rhymes of Lore. Um, do you have your... Look in your equipment and see if you've got an instrument. Get down, Maverick. Get down. Get down. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, you old? I've got nothing. You've got rhythm? You've got music? Who could ask for anything more? Um, let's see. And I know, Norin, you have Rhymes of War. Uh, what else do you have that you might be able to use? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Uh, all right. So here's what, uh, here's how we're going to do this. I am not going to use anything for old Theo because he would just spank all of you. Um, so we're going to go with this. Uh, <laughs> well, it's the truth. Um, okay. So Norin, you're going first. I'm going to give you one bonus die. Um, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to give you one bonus die to begin with, um, and it's three rolls. At uh, The first one's at minus two, so for you it's only going to be minus one, uh, then zero, then plus two. Um, I'm also not giving old Theo the, the – well, I have to give old Theo the, the bonuses and penalties um, uh, because they're actually bonuses and penalties this time. Um, so you go ahead and make your first roll at minus one, if you would, please. Uh, Noreen, are you there? Oh, I thought you were doing me last thing. No, no, no. No, you're last on the list, so you go first. That's the way I've been doing it. Okay. So, so I'm only minus one. You're only minus one because of Rhymes of Lore. Okay, ooh, great success. Okay, you got one Tangwar rune, so that's two points for you to start out with. Uh, yeah. And let me go ahead and do that. Okay, make your second roll at just a zero. It's just a regular roll. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you got a success on that one, so that's worth one point. Okay. And then go ahead and give me your last one at a bonus of two. Mm -hmm. Oh, great success again. Look at you. Okay, so that's worth two points as well. So that's going to be a total of five for you. Okay. First one yet. I don't understand why the dice have been so nasty to you, but sometimes you just have bad nights. Okay, Yuld, your first one is at minus two. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're expected. you're sitting there trying to rhyme or sing or whatever and if, if you're if you're trying to give a rhyme it's like tupac after he was killed um so <laughs> what rhymes with orange <laughs> uh, norange <laughs> okay give me your orange. second roll yeah what rhymes with orange norange the dwarf. Only he doesn't have a G. <laughs> okay. Oh, that one's not quite as bad as the first Maverick. You have got to get down. I am talking to my friends, and we are having a game, so you've got to get down. Okay. So with that one, the crowd is beginning to grumble because you have not included anything about the moon just yet. But go ahead and give me your third roll. Let's see if you get tomatoes. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh. Okay, that one's a success. That was really nice. But you only get one point out of it. You managed to get the, the final line in your poem ends with the word moon. And and people are sitting there kind of stumped, like when um, uh, like when Bilbo gave his birthday speech. Um, I like half of you half as well as you deserve, and I you know something like that, whatever. But you got a whole point <laughs> out of that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Wasn't a complete failure, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luthwin. Right. Go ahead and give me your first one at minus one, please, because you've got Rhymes of Lore. Uh, is it Night Out? Um, yeah. Is it dark? Actually, no, it's not dark enough, because people still need to be able to see. All right. Okay, is so it just minus one? Yeah, just minus one. I know you're trying to get bonuses. I don't blame you. I still can't read that dice. That's really weird. Okay, so um, the first one uh, doesn't sound so good. It's because you're an elf and they don't understand some of the words that you're using because your the poetry of the elves is so astoundingly beautiful that it's hard for mortal ears to hear it. <laughs> there you go. Uh. Yeah, something's lost in translation. There you go. Something is lost in translation. So go ahead and give me your second roll, please. Well, I have a plus one. Um, rhymes of lore. No, 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 no. Uh, remember, Norin had rhymes of lore, and I did not give him a bonus of one on that one. So it's just okay. going to be a standard zero, and then a plus two for your third roll. Okay. Ooh. Okay, great success. Great success. So let's see. That's going to be worth two points because you got a um, Tanguar rune uh, along with that. And then uh, go ahead. Uh, let's see. On that one, since... Okay, since the elves... Okay, wait a minute. You're a Mirkwood elf, right? Yeah. Okay, so Mirkwood elves seldom see the stars. So your your song or poem is probably some kind of a lament about not being able to see the silver of the moon and stars as as much as you would like um which makes the long defeat even more difficult to take and if you don't know what the long defeat is let me know 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. In times past, the elves kind of started the problems, I mean, really started the problems, uh, against many of the mire who are basically angels okay well there were good angels and bad angels and they started problems with those bad angels by going and killing some of their own people okay uh they were elves but they were they had split off from the main group if i'm mm -hmm. recalling this correctly mm -hmm. go go ahead ross you tell it all right so Fedor one of the high elves on the Mulnar, um, made an oath. And that oath is what brought many of his kin to Middle-earth hunting the Cimmerals that Morgoth had stolen. And um, in that oath, he forced the other elven um Clans or groups, including the Sindar and what became the Dark Elves and the Silver Elves, um, as well, into working with him. And if he didn't work with him, um, he basically hate his people hated you, and some of them even killed them at a port near Linden when they took the ships from the other elves and slaughtered them there <laughs> in, a, in a fight known as a kinslaying. And uh, there's, um, there's some more videos on uh, YouTube okay. that you can watch sometime if you're, if you're interested. It's all in the similar, in, in, in the in the book, the some. Silmarillion, yeah. Silmarillion, yeah. But that book is very complicated to read. <laughs> you haven't, I've read it several times in the last three years. <laughs> and I tried there's reading, some things you don't get. I tried reading it when I was like seven. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll read The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and come back to this. <laughs> it yeah. It took me two and a half years to read the Silmarillion, and I still don't have everything down. Um, yeah. uh, it it it's going to take several readings, but let's just say this: uh, the One Ring and the the stories that started it. Hang on, Maverick. The stories that started it in, in Middle Earth are long and complex. But the long defeat of the elves is that they, despite their uh, immortality, and, and, and nobody's really sure if they're truly immortal or if they just live like thousands upon thousands of years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Hyrule is like 4,000 years old. I, I thought she was six. Months. I thought oh, she yeah, was about the same age as, as, yeah. uh, as she's Elrond. One the, well, she's one of Fenor's relatives. Oh, yeah. So she's one of the original elves that even came to the earth. So then, in, in in that case, we're talking at least six thousand years yeah, of age, yeah. okay? So the new series on Amazon is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. To, see her, to see her transition from the Undying Land to to Miller. Yeah. <laughs> well. So anyway, the, the long defeat is about the elves having caused uh, the problems with uh, Morgoth, who was the probably the most evil among the Maiar. Um, and then uh, he... Uh, yeah. He's a Valar. He's a Valar. Oh, that's right. He is a Valar. Sauron is a Maiar. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, his protege Sauron yeah. is is Maiar, uh, basically an angel or or demon, if you will. Uh, and uh, so the long defeat is about uh, Middle Earth very slowly sliding into evil, and and his uh, protege uh, Saruman or Sauron from the movies and the books is the one that uh, is trying to cause. The long defeat to speed up. Does that help you guys at all? I uh, a bit, yeah. Okay. Um, so when we're talking about the long defeat, Luthwin would understand what that is, 
and um, and be able to put it into his poetry. And that's going to help him a little bit. So go ahead and give me your third roll, please. All right. Okay, ooh, that's a great success. Another one. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's going to be two more points for... Oh, Maverick, I'm going to have to take you out, buddy. I'm going to have to put you out in, in the living room. Okay, so that is a total of four points for Luthwin. Okay, and then I've got a roll for old, old Theo. Maverick, get down. Get down. Stay. Sit. Okay. Well, I was thinking about a song that I could kind of sing, and I think it kind of works with what you described. Yeah. Take me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Uh, yeah. No, that's a modern song. That's <laughs> that modern. Mm, okay. In 1980s. The, in the dude. life of an elf. That would be an extraordinary, extraordinarily new song, okay? <laughs> For the rest of us, it's a little bit of a uh, of an old song. So you know, okay. So old Theo, <laughs> old Theo goes and takes the stage. He's got his own instrument. It's a mandolin, I think. Um, let's see, what does he have? Description. Oh, I don't have a description for him. Anyway, he's got like a... It shows him in the picture as having a pan flute, so we'll go with the pan flute. Um, uh, and uh, so his first role, uh, he's definitely doing something with music. Uh, he, is, he has... Let's see. I'm only going to take a minus one from him. Okay, like I did with you guys. Oh, he got a failure. A pretty abject failure too. So he uh, he stops for a minute, and he, I have Sauron. Booyah! Yeah, he's got a Sauron's eye. So um, he blew a really horrible, nasty note, and he literally has to block off one of the tubes that's on his on his flute, and he won't be able to play with that. Okay. So the second one, I'm going to leave that at zero. Uh, that, of course, is a su success, but it's only worth one point. Okay. And then his third one, which is going to be a bonus of two. Okay. And roll. Okay, that's a success <laughs> for all those dice, and he still only got one point out of it. Okay. Guess who won that one? Noreen. So you Noreen, what did you sing about? Or 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 tell a story about or Um The Founding of Kazadoom. The Founding of Kaza Doom. Which is where which is where elves and elves and dwarves were once friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the truth about that. Okay, somebody sent something. Oh, okay. You're you're putting in stuff of the, about the legendarium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, These are excellent if, for those of you who are interested in finding stuff out but don't have a whole lot of time to read. These series yeah. are amazing. Yeah. So Yeah. Those, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting up to 9:30. Um, Ross, did you have something else you were trying to say? I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say that those YouTube channels are definitely worth checking out. Absolutely. There's some, there's like, I have a couple other ones like Nerd in the Rings and stuff for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Check out. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to tell the story of the founding of Cousin Doom before it became. Moria. Okay. Well, you have a lot of people that are absolutely wrapped with what you're saying because they've never heard it before, frankly. Um, and so their interest, uh, let me center this, their interest comes in, uh, in, in hearing like 
the story about uh, the Silmarils and how they uh, the heart of the mountain came about and uh, um, Lord Thrain uh, Thorin or uh, let's see it was Thrain well, that, that, that's more Aragorn well yeah um, um, but more, during uh, well, during the I mean, Deathless during, yeah during the Deathless you know sees the, the crown of seven uh, stars in, in Miramir and that's where the the song of Durin, you know, mentions all that. The founding of Cousin Doom. Okay. So, so, see, that's... Yeah. So that, yeah. uh, that turns out to be excellent. You get all kinds of kudos for that. And, uh, and people are, are just very celebratory... Okay, um, so uh, Maverick, hang on a minute. So <laughs> here's what I'm going to recommend doing since Ginger has to get up very early tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to total up how how all of this works and who the overall winner is going to be out of this. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we'll play through that next Sunday. How does that sound? Okay. Sounds all right to me. All right. Okay. Same bat time, same bat channel? Same bat time, same bat channel. Sounds good to me. All right. Yeah. I have to go beat my dog now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. No, give, give him a pet for me. Oh, I will. So I'm going to go play with this dog, and I'm going to put him down. <laughs> I'm, I'm a human one, then. All, All right. right. Here. My friends, thank you for being here. I know it was a lot of dice rolls, but hopefully we got some good story in at the same time. Oh, I had fun. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Well, good next week is going to be a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, my ex. Oh, wait a minute. I have a man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, my friends. Everyone. Yeah, you have a great night, y'all. And I'll talk with you soon. Good night. 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 Fare thee well.